we've had this whole desire to be realized. It's the passion. It's what you're here for. The human in its last lifetime, waiting for realization, and then wondering why it's not here, and then working at it, and then worrying about it, and then doing strange machio things when actually nothing needs to be done at all. I've said from the beginning this is all natural, not a thing for the human to do. Because you see, the human actually does not become realized. The human does not become realized. When the Master has brought everything to wisdom, and when there's kind of a consensus between the human and the Master for the human no longer to hold on to things, no longer to have to process or to feel guilty or any of that, when it's all brought to wisdom, then the Merlin emerges. And the human is intimately aware of the Merlin. Now the human has let all this stuff go. The Merlin is realized, meaning that everything's, it's done its job. It's collected everything. It's brought it to wisdom, and it's given it as a gift to the I Am. Not that the I Am needs a lot of gifts, but the I Am receives all of this. And in that moment, the I Am is enlightened. Merlin of each and every one of you, my passion is to bridge the human and the soul. So they face each other once again. They integrate with each other once again. The greatest, you could say, asset of the Merlin, now that everything has been brought to wisdom, is that the Merlin can, is now timeless. Imagine, dear human, you who excel in experiences, what it's going to be like now having experiences beyond time. The other thing that's so important to know at this point is that there really is no future. As there is no time, there is no future. And there's not a, a future of realization. The realization's always been here. It's all in your energy, and the energy has no time. In this new time of timelessness, in the free time that Adamus talks about, is that you'll feel a sense of integration like never before. And what we have here then is this moment of integrate into the greatness of yourself. Well, what are these, the take-home lessons? What are the things that Adamus has been talking about over and over as the years go by in different ways, but really wants us to get these basics? And surprisingly, when I started to write them down, they kind of came more easily than I expected. So that's encouraging, I think, for all the Chambra to realize we've learned a lot more than maybe we think through these, this past almost decade. I usually work with children and adolescents, so I want to start with your childhood. Uh, yeah. You were brought up uh, by a lonely parent and left home at the age of eight. Yes, uh, yes, I was a, I was a bastard. Uh, I, I had no father. I was brought up by my mother, who I dearly loved, dearly loved. And then I was shipped away when I was seven. Not to correct you, doctor, but when I was seven. Seven, okay. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. 
Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yes. Uh, did you have behavioral uh, difficulties and were actually removed to stay at a foster home in Transylvania? <laughs> no, uh, my dear, this wasn't emotional difficulties. This was part of my evolution. Uh, yeah, I'm still Sart. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, but now I'm an ascended master. <laughs> ah, this is just weird. Uh, and, and I mean, back, back in May, I never thought I'd be sitting here presenting at one of these big conferences, and never thought I'd be being channeled by Caldra. But here we are. So let's let's take it away. Uh, anyway, so uh, I was a I was a runt in in school, growing up. I wasn't very tall. wasn't very big. I had a chip on my shoulder. I was constantly getting in fights. I usually lost, but man, that made me tougher for the next fight that I got in. I didn't know what I was fighting. I mean, I thought back then I was just fighting the other kids. I thought I was just, uh, just trying to prove myself, but I realized later I was fighting some pretty big demons that were inside me. I'm here. I'm here. I start to to encourage all of you, don't fight anything anymore. There's nothing left to prove. There's no more, uh, Dom would say it was, tilting at windmills, whatever in the fuck that means. There's no more tilting at windmills, nothing to battle anymore. It's all done. It's all wrapped up. It's all over. Now you have nothing but the beautiful memories of your life. Gerhard and Nat, such a delight to see you guys. Hello, everybody. Hey. Wonderful, wonderful to see you Hello, too. Hello, Jeff and Linda. So good to see you. Dr. Joachim Wolfram. Oh, it's a good time for me here. <laughs> Hello, and thanks for the invitation. I'm glad to be with you. Uh, let's bring up our wonderful, wonderful friend and an amazing interviewer, Kevin Moore. Welcome, Kevin, Kevin, welcome. Thank you guys so, so much. You know, it was, it's always such a pleasure to be working with you both. Jonathan Cray, Sandra Rogerman, and George Andrada. Welcome, guys and g gals. Hi. Hi, y'all. <laughs> Good to be here. Yes, I am enlightened. I, Katumi, am enlightened. It took me a while to get there. Oh, many, many lifetimes of wandering that path, many lifetimes of trials and tribulations. But then I realized one day I just needed to say it. I just needed to hear the words, yes, I am enlightened. Yes, I am enlightened. And I would like to hear it from you today. I am enlightened. That's all there is to it. All the secrets, all the mysteries, all of the studying, it comes down to this moment. I am enlightened. Can you, dear Shambra, allow that? It was about time I had a stern talk with myself. Oh, mama. <laughs> we can go on together. Now is the time in that Atlantean dream and in the time of machines where we join together all the ascended masters and all who are ready to allow their realization 
Let us take a deep breath together in this beautiful and silent moment. Each a sovereign being, but yet joined together by one thing in common, realization. Now comes the time for the human to be relieved of any of the burdens of coming to realization. It has always been up to the I am. And the real work was done by the Master, now called the Merlin. It's time for the human to let go of that burden and the struggle, and now simply to receive the awareness of realization. The soul has fulfilled what it wanted to do when it came through the order of the ark, has fulfilled what it wanted to do with the coming of the human. It is the soul that becomes enlightened, as the human that allows that awareness.